my lecture series on A to Z of cryptography. Malware is any software intentionally designed to cause disruption to a computer, server, client, or computer network. Leak private information, gain unauthorized access to information or systems, deprive users access to information or which unknowingly interferes with the user's computer security and privacy. This video is a continuation of malware types part one. Malware types including phishing, adware, spam and ransomware would be discussed here. Stay tuned. This term phishing is pronounced like the word F-I-S-H-I-N-G. And this is a message that tries to trick you by providing information like your social security number, bank account information, logon, password, details from a website. It happens that when we uh, surf the website, we come across some of the pop-ups, which define that if you give this information, you will be benefited. So we fall prey to those pop-ups and we go on clicking those links in the messages. So basically what they do, they also give this message that if you do not click this message, then your account will be blocked or some other disaster may happen to your system or to your account. So we fall prey to this and we click those pop-ups and give our valuable information. This is an example screenshot of a phishing attack. You see, it comes from an email ID, which becomes very much questionable because this is not a normal email ID. It is uh, very much doubtful. So if you get, if you come across any email sent from anybody having a different user ID, then you should definitely avoid it. The second point is that it is sense of urgency. You see here, hurry. Hurry term is used here because they cannot wait for you to click on that particular link. And they are saying you update now. So these are the terms which should be avoided. Then you go and look into the body of the email like this. You can, if you find 10 October 2006, this is, this is not a valid dating format. So this is again a point to be noted. Next, there may be some sort of terms which are used in the body of the mail like fraudulent fraud. So if you come across this, then definitely it is a threat to your computer system. Nowadays, you see, if you go to Gmail, they automatically detect there is artificial intelligence inbuilt and automatically detect these words and they can block your mail. Then fifth one, you look at the following link. If this link does not match with the URL in the status bar, then you should have a second thought to it. So these are the five different highlights that I have given to you. If you come across them, then you should think that it may be a phishing attack and you should not open that email. Then there is a term which is called spam. Mostly it comes in the email. In your email, there is a special spam folder created by the email server. Normally the messages that you do not request or you do not want, they go into the spam folder. But you must be careful that many a times important messages also go into the spam folder. So you can check from time to time the spam folder and you can delete it. It is very a common way to spread viruses and trojans through the spam emails. Once you click those emails, they contain this virus programs or Trojan horse programs and they will definitely enter your computer system. This is an example screenshot of the spam folder which you should delete instead of opening the emails. Adware is a term which is used for advertising supported software. So this type of pop-ups normally come up into our websites when we surf through the internet and if we click those pop-up ads on the websites then they, these um, underlying them, they have their malicious software. So once you click them, they will enter into your system. We are often misled by the term free. Once it is free, we go for free uh, ads and free shopping and everything. So this term is very much misleading. This normally these adware creators, they use these terms to attract the users or the victims to their own 
uh, malicious software. So these bundle software then come into your, once you click them, they come into your system and can make disaster to your computer system. These are some of the adware pop-ups that normally you come across while surfing the internet. So you should avoid them. Ransomware is a term which is used for a malware that is essentially used to hold a computer system at captive and then demanding a ransom. What do they do? They basically restrict the user the access to their own computer system. What do they do? They encrypt those files. Once they encrypt your own files, you will no longer be able to open those files and they will be able to lock your hard drive and lock your own system. And they would definitely give a message that if you do not pay this amount to this website, then they will be forced to not to regain access to their own computer system. See, if you recall, there was a WannaCry ransomware way back in May 2017. It was a worldwide cyber attack, mainly it targeted the Windows operating systems. What did they do? They encrypted the data and they demanded ransom payments in the form of Bitcoin cryptocurrency. So WannaCry ransomware is an example of malware ransomware. To summarize, in this video, we have learned about the rest of the malware types. Like we learned about what is spam, what is adware, what is ransomware and what is phishing. Thank you.